Is that the part that is just going to uh, rip off my internal organs? Survive or die! Ah! Hello, my dears, it's me, Kisaki Jackie, and welcome to the Smiling Man. Apparently, the remake edition. I. What the fuck just happened? The game closed. And the, the, the game opened itself again. Alright, now it's normal. I, I don't know, the game closed itself and then it opened and then it was small and then I had to fix it. Uh, what was happening? <laughs> Alright. Warning, this game contains jump scare, loud noises, blood, violence and gore. Where, where did the... <laughs> okay. Why? For a better experience, use headphones, turn up the volume, play in the dark. Gotcha. I want to know why every time that we talk about horror we have to talk about blood and gore we don't need blood and gore to make horror i know it's a it's a genre of horror so it's part of it there it is the smiling man it did say there was a remake but i don't i don't remember playing the first one why are you giving me a screen again that's the second screen! Why? I don't care. Let's go. Main story. <laughs> okay, Noxus Game Studio presents... The Smiling Man. Oh my fucking god, the game is over. <laughs> okay, special thanks. Hey, thanks everyone. Very nice. Lovely that you're all here. This, this should not be done at the beginning of the game. This should be done at the end of the game. Oh, marker player is here as well. All right, there we are. Some years ago, I lived in the center of a large city in the USA. As I have always been a, a night person, I often got bored after my roommate was decidedly not a night person, went to bed. To pass the time, I used to take long walks and spend time thinking. I spent four years like that, walking alone at night, and never once had a reason to feel afraid. I always used to joke with my roommate that even the drug dealers in the city were polite, but all of that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. It was a Wednesday, somewhere between one and two in the morning, and I was walking near a police patrol park, quite a, quite a ways from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a week night, with very little traffic, and almost no one on foot. The park, as it was most nights, was completely empty. Can we add that to the tab of things only men would do? Because no freaking way a woman would be <laughs> walking at night. Even if she wanted to. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Wednesday, 2 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Add to the tab things only man would do. I know the game just started, but I have one complaint about it so far. Because how long it took for the game to start, giving me two entrance, like two screen of entrance saying start or play or whatever. And then he just kept going with like a credit and then thank you things and all of that. You completely took me completely took me out of horror situation. So I'm not even in mood of horror. And when you're starting a horror, you need to set a certain mood. And the beginning of the game basically took me out of it. All right, lovely. What a nice park. Very nice. There's nothing in this park though. There's just a very big line of places to sit. After a long time of walking. Not moving. It's been a long time. I'm tired. I better go home. How much is a long time? And can you go simply back in the same amount of time? Or you're just walking in circles and the park is like, Hey, I've been here before. I walked home through this very, very place and then I met a ghost and the ghost killed me just because I talked to her. Oh, a car. Nice. Okay, it's very late at night. It's like he said, only the drug dealers would be out at this hour. 
maybe some weird people. People coming back from weird work. I was walking down a small street to get back to my apartment when I first noticed at the end of the street there was the silhouette of a man dancing. I don't see the silhouette of a man dancing. I don't see anything, for a matter of fact. There's nothing there. Not behind me, not in front of me. Where is this man dancing? It was a strange dance. As he danced, he took a step forward. I guess you could say he was dancing, coming straight towards me. I think I watched the short horror video that you're talking about. It is creepy. I would be creeped out by it. He danced closer and still until I couldn't make out his face. His eyes were open wide and wild, head tilted back slightly, looking off to the sky, his mouth was forming in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile. Creepy, creepy dude. But 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 there's nothing on his eyes. Hi, sir. I took my eyes off him to cross the empty street. Did I? Hi. He had stopped dancing and I was standing with one foot in the street, perfectly parallel to me. He was fa facing me, but still looking skyward, smile still wide on his lips. Good for you, sir. Bye. Have a lovely dancing night. <laughs> sir? Yeah, as I thought. Goodbye. I have places to be. Is he behind me? Is he smiling? Again, not moving. Okay. Sir? Oh, there he is! He also crossed the street. He had crossed the street and was now crouching slightly. I was so shocked that I just stood there for a while looking at him. What is this fight position? Sir? Took he, looked, he took giant, exaggerated steps on tiptoe, like a cartoon character sneaking up on someone. Only he was moving very, very fast. Lovely. I cannot move. I really cannot move. What the fuck do you want? Yeah, sir, what, what, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, I, I, I didn't know I had to choose, by the way. Oh great, he left. Bye, sir. Have a lovely night. I hope you enjoy yourself. You look very happy. Great. I'm alive. Am I alive? Is he coming back? Holy shit! There he comes. Oh fuck, I have to run! I didn't even notice I had to go. All right, all right, I'm running. I don't know to where, but I am running. Oh, fuck, he's right behind me. I'm gonna die, I'm dead. You died. Okay. Cool, I died. Why did I die? Fantastic. Let's try this again. Okay, I ran. I think I ran off. Great. I just had to start running a little bit earlier. I ran until I got off the side road and back onto a well-lit low traffic road. When I looked back, he was nowhere to be found. Throughout the rest of the way home, I kept looking over my shoulder, always expecting to see, him, see his stupid smile. 
but he was never there. I lived in that city for six months after that night and never went out for a night stroll again. There was something about his face that haunted me. He didn't look drunk. He didn't look high. He looked completely and utterly insane. And that's a very, very scary thing to see. Alright, that was it. The Smiling Man. Don't know. Like I said at the beginning, there's too much to start. And then the game did not really felt like a game. It felt like... I don't know, it felt like nothing. I forgot that apparently there is an alternated story. So let me check that one out. One night I went to the market to buy something to eat. I do this a few times a week, not only to purchase food, but also to appreciate the nighttime tranquility. But this time was different. I came face to face with evil in its most sinister form. A tall man, smiling and radiating a terrifying energy. I left a bit later than usual that night. It was 2 a.m. After that night, I never went out again at that hour. So how similar is it going to be? It's like me walking, shopping, men coming, I run. Look at the objectives. Oh, now I have objectives. Okay, that's a little bit different. Right, go to the market. Door. Okay. Where is the market? Why am I the only one? Okay, there's another house in there. Not this way. Apparently the market is not this way. Is it this way? The market has to be some way, right? Right, this is the way. I thought like my house was the only house around, but no, there's more houses. So, great. Oh, I can run. That's also great. Why am I going to the market at 2 in the morning? What is wrong with me? Oh, look at that. Lovely. Hey, dude. How you doing over there? Lovely night, isn't it? <laughs> right. Amazing night. What is that dude over there? Okay. It's alright. I don't even know where the shops are. What is it so important that cannot wait until the next day? Like you that hungry, drink water and go to sleep. Oh, now it's dirt. Now it's dirt path. Right. And very much dark. I don't think it's worth it, man. I don't even have a flashlight. That that look that, that just looks stupid. This is just stupid. Quick mark. Marked. Quick marked. There's not even a light to come in here. Got something to buy. Like what? Good night, sir. I came to pick up something to buy. I don't know what. View food to buy. Which button do I press? Okay. Shopping list. Why do I have so many shopping lists? Uh, healthy shopping list. I'm just gonna go with basic shopping list. Did I? Did I? Did I buy things? I think I bought things. Fantastic. There you go. Good evening. It was thirteen fifty. Sure. Go back home. Thank you, sir. I bought my basic stuff. They didn't even matter what it was. Like I thought that it wouldn't. Bye. Have a lovely day. Do you have anything weird happening in the back of your market? No. Cola. A car. Perfect. I was also a gas station. Great. Fantastic. I don't know why all of this is here, but it is. I'm going home though. Fuck. Brother, what the hell? You scared the shit out of me. What are you doing here? You are right there, dude? Good God. What's the need of it? Bro, gave me a heart attack for no reason. The next night. 
Bro, you need to put your priorities straight. Like, uh, going to the supermarket every day at 2 in the morning doesn't sound like a great idea. Just saying. It's the worst idea ever, actually. Oh, there he is. I was looking on the other side of the street and he was just, like, right there. Hi, sir. You're very creepy. And he's gone. He's scubbing at me. Hi. How are you doing? You look awfully happy. It's still very creepy. What do you want? Is that the part that I have to run back to my house again as fast as I possibly can? I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm going home. Goodbye, sir. I cannot! Okay, call me stupid for all that I care. Call me absolutely insanely dumb. Because that's what I am. I am ridiculously dumb. Pretty stupid. No brain. No, I farted it out of my butthole. Okay, we're running to the shops. Is that the part that is just going to uh, rip off my internal organs? Survive or die! Ah! I would have survived if I had just got home and I had the fucking chance to go there! There we go, I, I got home. Piece of shit, bitch. Did I survive? Oh no, he cannot. Uh, he was stopped by the power of my door. Did I call the police at least? I'm never getting out of my house again. Oh, good ending. I imagine that the bad ending is that I just die. Okay. Um. Not much difference than the first. Except that instead of just walking, I actually had to go on the shops and buy something. It was actually a little bit more creepy than the first one. I don't know. I like that parallel story more than the first one. Okay. Alright. That was it for Smiling Man. Let me take this out of the way. <laughs> That was it for Smiley Man. The second, well, the second, the parallel story is a bit better than the first story, but I still keep my thing that the beginning of it was too big. It was too long and it did not set me the mood for it. But the second one, that's the parallel story, it was much better. It set me on the mood much better than the first uh, one that I played. But it's still pretty good. I liked it. I like it, Smiley Man. So if you also liked it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to play tons of other games besides this one. And as usual, hope you all have a happy ever after. And I'll see you on the next day. Bye bye.